In this video, I want to show you how to create footer templates in WordPress by using SeedProd and its drag and drop WordPress website builder. We're going to head over to seedprod.com and we'll get this installed really quickly. We'll go ahead and click on get SeedProd now and you can select the account that makes the most sense for you. I'm going to use the pro version of SeedProd. Once you have an account, let's go to login. And on the left hand side, let's enter your email address, your password and click on login. Once you're into your seed product account, you can click on the second tab from the left called downloads. And we'll click on the big orange button here called download seed prod pro on the bottom left hand corner here. We'll see the license key. You can click the icon here to copy that to clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab. And here I have my WordPress admin area open. I'm going to install seed Prod by going to plugins and add new. And at the top, we'll see upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click here. And this zip file, I'll just drag this and drop it right on choose file. Or you can click on choose file and select this zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now. And I'll click activate plugin. Here we have the license key where we can paste that. And we'll click on verify key. You should see a green success message up here in the top right. Great. Now we're running the default WordPress theme. So let's go ahead and add a website kit. And this will give us a nice website to work with. So under seed prod, we'll go to theme builder. And we'll go to theme template kits here. You can import any of these pre-made websites. You can also create one from scratch if you like, but this will give you an amazing head start. There's one here called food truck theme. I'll just go ahead and select this one with the orange check mark to import all of the template files. And right, there you go. Now you can see all of the theme template files that have been added to the website. Let's go ahead and enable this theme in the top right corner. And we'll just click OK here a couple times. Let's open the website now and we can see we have the food truck website has been imported into our site. Now let's talk about the footer here. We can look for the footer template here. It's somewhere in our list. So here we can see footer. We also have header and sidebar. If you like, you can check out the header video as well. That's also on the YouTube channel. And it's basically the same principles. Let's go ahead and edit the design. And now this theme has one that's already finished for you. So you can see it here. So we can quickly make changes to it by selecting it. And for example, I can just change the background. Let's save that. And you can refresh the page and you can see that that's updated instantly on your website. So let's say you want to make one from scratch. Let's go ahead and just exit out of here and we'll go ahead and delete the footer completely. We'll hit the trash and we can create our own. Let's go ahead and add a new theme template here and we can call this footer and just maybe put custom so we know that it's ours. And for the type, we'll select footer. Now there's a priority here. This doesn't really matter if you only have one footer because it's not competing with other footers. And for the conditions, we want to include this on the entire website. You have a lot of flexibility with the conditions. For example, you can create multiple footers for different pages of your website. So for example, your homepage could have one where we could set this to just the front page, or you could set a second one that goes to all of the other ones, except excluding the front page. So you can get really flexible with how this works for this basic example. We'll just do include on the entire site and click save, and this will open it up in the seed prod website builder. Now, there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could save some time again by instead of building it from scratch, we could use sections. And here we have a section that has footers and there's some pre-made ones here that we could select. So for example, if you just want a simple, nice layout, here's one here. We can just import this and you can modify the section. So for example, there's a lot of spacing here. So maybe you want to change that at the top. Maybe I'll change this to just 50 and right here we have menus. So they're using WordPress menus. So you have to go through and select these and set them up. Not a big deal. Or you could switch these to simple menus. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And here you can see all those simple menus are added. Then you can go in through and change these. You can change the name of them. You can delete them. If you want to remove one, you can add a new one. If you like, you can duplicate it if you like as well, and you can customize the size. So maybe you want them a little bigger, a little smaller. You have the space between a divider, the alignment, if you want to change that and some advanced options for all of the topography, the text, the hover color, spacing attributes, the device visibility. You can go through all of these. You can also change the fonts for the headers here and you have an opt-in box here as well. So this will collect emails and you can actually set that up to use your favorite third-party marketing email service. If you wish to do that, you also have some social buttons here and you can go through these. So maybe for example, you don't want to use Twitter. You could remove this and add a different one. So for example, you want to add discord or some other service. You can change the style fairly easily and the size. Maybe you want them smaller or bigger. And you can change the alignment. We have templates here as well to give you kind of a quick way to choose the style. So you can go through these. It's a quick way to see what you like. We also have advanced to really fine tune the design of these as well. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this page and we can refresh. And there you go. You have a new customized footer that you can use on your website. We also have a logo down there. If you notice that you can just simply select this and delete it. Use your own image. And I think there was a logo here for the template. You could simply upload your own if you don't want to use this one. And we can just change the size. 
So there's a width here, maybe about 100. I think that looks good. There's also another menu here I didn't notice until now. We'll just switch that to simple. And there you go. It looks good. Again, we'll save and refresh. And there you go. You can see a completed footer that you can use on your website. Again, if you didn't want to use the sections, you could just create one from scratch here. So if you're seeing the blank page, you just have your rows here, your sections that you can add. So we could do something very basic here. Maybe we could put two columns. And on the right column, maybe we could put the site logo. We could do the image block. And I'll just select the logo here. And you can change the size, of course. We can have it fit the size of the column here. So I could change the resize columns. And we'll just bring this down. And maybe you want a menu here. So let's go ahead and look for menu. And I'll drag the nav menu in here. And we're using the simple again. We can just add more items. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and add maybe some social profiles. We'll put that at the bottom and we'll just left align these. So we can select these and left align. And you'll see that they're not aligned perfectly here. Select the blue row and we have the vertical alignment and we can change this to middle. Now you can see everything is perfectly aligned here. Let's go ahead and select the section and maybe change the background up a little bit. Let's go maybe a light gray. And you can continue to add any block that you wish that is available here on the left hand side. So videos, buttons, images, you can add anything you wish. So we can go ahead and add a button here and we can customize this, maybe a small button with a little call to action here. Again, we also have the opt-in forms that you can use to collect email addresses. If you have an email box, we can put one down here. We also have Google Maps. That's very popular in footers, business hours, for example, a search form if you like, many, many different options. Once you're happy, again, just hit save. We'll refresh the page. Of course, you'd spend more time on this to make it look a little bit nicer than what I did here. This is just an example on the flexibility of what you can add and what you can do with it. Now, we touched on it briefly before, but let's just take a look at one more thing. Let's say we have two different menus and we want one for our homepage and we want one for all of the other pages. For example, we have menu, location, about, and contact. So let's go ahead and do that. We can exit out of here. And this one is called footer custom. Let's create another one, add new template, and we'll call this footer custom two. You can name them however you wish. Now this one's going to be a footer and it's going to appear on the entire website. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'll just keep this quick with a section. So we'll import a footer. And we'll make it very obvious that it's different than the other one. We'll use this one and we'll save this. Let's exit out of here. Now, right now they both have conditions for the entire website. So let's have the first one custom go just on the front page. And then this one will be on every other page except the front page. So to do that, let's go to edit conditions and we'll change to this from include on the entire site to just the front page. Let's go ahead and save that. Now for the custom two, let's go ahead and edit the conditions. We'll include it on the entire site, except we will exclude this one from the front page. So the entire website, except the front page. You could also use priorities to do this, but I think this is the better way to do it. Let's go ahead and save. So now we'll notice on the front page, if we refresh, we should see the same footer. And then if we go to another page, such as the menu or any other page on the website, you'll see this big custom footer. And that's how you can add multiple footers to different areas of your website. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from SeedProd. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.